Everything Top 10 is proud to present the Top 10 Things You Didn't Know About Lamar Jackson. Number 10. Jackson was the first and youngest Louisville player to win the Heisman. The Heisman Trophy is considered by many the top individual accolade for any college player. To underscore just how big a breakout star he was, he became the first Louisville player to ever win the Heisman and the youngest at just 19 years, 337 days. Number 9. He was under-recruited coming out of high school. As big a deal as he is right now, one of the true breakout stars of the new generation, he was only considered a three-star recruit in the 24-7 Sport Composite rankings. Unlike other stars who are often recognized pretty early, he only gained proper notice late into his junior year when he won the Heisman Trophy in 2016. Number 8. Jackson is notoriously media shy. It could be a factor of his upbringing or just his personality but he is notoriously media shy. As the face of his team, he had to enlist the help of reporters and undergo special training to be able to face the media as repeatedly and confidently as was required. He lives most of his life off the cameras too. Little is known about his dating life apart from the fact that he has a girlfriend, something he revealed rather inadvertently in a conversation with reporters about his teammate Marquise Brown, one of his friends on the Ravens. Number 7. He started his high school career at Santa Lucia's High in Lantana, about 60 miles north of Miami on Florida's east coast. He, however, left at some point after his freshman year, reportedly for a school where he was guaranteed the starting quarterback role. He moved to Boynton Beach High, where the coach quickly found a role that fit him. Number 6. Jackson is faster than you think. He really is one of the fastest quarterbacks to play the game. He did not do the 40-yard dash during the NFL scouting combine, leaving some room for speculation regarding how fast he is. Fans and opposing players already have a rough idea of how quickly he can move. But the best we can come to an official record is a tweet by former Louisville coach Bobby Petrino, which claimed that Jackson clocked an unofficial 4.34 second 40-yard dash in 2017. This would place him just a few seconds shy of the 2019 NFL Combine record held by Zedrick Woods. Number 5. He never understood how to use a playbook until college. He has had his issues with play calling in the past, even once admitting that he did not understand and could not study his college playbook. He came from a high school where he did not have a playbook or anything close. The coach would simply draw patterns up and get his headset on, ordering them to go after it. When he finally had to study a playbook, it looked to him like foreign letters. Today, he seems to have found a way around it playing for the Ravens. Before the season, Jackson admitted that he practiced play calling by holding the playbook and reciting the plays while looking into a mirror. Number 4. Jackson was a track and field star in high school. Most people know him for his football skills, most of which were discovered and honed in high school and college. He also ran for his track team though, mostly participating in the 100 meter dash. He was pretty good too, posting a personal record of 11.45 seconds. Before he was worth all the hype, he also participated in the long jump and 4x100 meter relay races in various high school meets, often making the difference for his track team. Number 3. His mother is his manager. He has always had a special relationship with his mother. He, however, surprised the NFL world when he made the rather unprecedented decision to forego traditional agent representation and make his mother his manager before being drafted. Is she a helicopter parent or simply looking out for the interests of her young boy? Why has she been easy to reach for some teams and near impossible for others? Is she the one who told him not to do the 40-yard dash at the NFL scouting combine? These are some of the questions fans and followers have regarding their arrangement but it is a decision that has worked out pretty well for him so far. Number 2. Jackson lost his father and grandmother on the same day. He has been very secretive about his family and his past. In fact, apart from news about his mother, very little is known about his family life. However, one small detail about his family is that his father died in a road accident when he was 8 years old. He unfortunately also lost his grandmother on that same day. Number 1. He is friends with rapper Kodak Black. He grew up in Pompano Beach and went to elementary school with rapper Kodak Black, who has had his fair share of media attention in the past few years. Kodak Black has even attended some of his games, including the game that saw Jackson lead the Ravens to win the AFC North title. That's all folks. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and comment down below which NFL player you want to see us make a video about next. Make sure you subscribe to us as well. Also, tell us if you think Lamar Jackson is good enough to win a Super Bowl for the Baltimore Ravens. See you next time.